Once we're signed into our web-based Square dashboard where we are right now, we'll go directly into our invoicing function to send one of those invoices. We see the options right here, a single, a batch, or a recurring. Once we decide which we'd like to send, we'll do a single invoice. We'll add a customer. So Elbert has, we have their first, last, and email. We have the option to leave a title on this invoice, your purchase. We also have the ability to add a service date, an invoice ID, or a body message. But let's pull in a classic T. We can see this item has six variations. Let's sell an extra large. We can add a note to the client to let them know about the item, but there already is an item description giving in-depth information of what this item is. So we'll save this. And now we'll adjust the quantity. We can sell one or we could sell 15. If we sell at a certain level, Square Invoices will let us know whether or not we are overselling. So right now, it looks like we are overselling our current inventory. So if I shift this down to a lower amount, like five, the flag will go away. So now with a five count of classic tees sold at a total of $180, now I have to decide when I would like this to be sent. I'll send it now and I'll have it due in seven days. And I'll decide what payment methods the client can pay. Let's give them all of the methods. We have card, ACH bank transfer, cash app pay, after pay, and a gift card option. And we'll also decide the reminders. So we'll want to remind the client of this outstanding invoice once it's been sent. So we have some reminders right here that will automatically reach out to the client. So once we're ready to confirm, we have our client, our title, our line items. We do have the option to discount, but we'll keep it at $180. And everything is set for our payment methods and due date. So we can go ahead and hit send. So now this invoice sent out to Albert, it is going to automatically remind him of the upcoming amount that he owes it'll have all the details of the invoice and if he comes in and would like to pay cash or check we can simply click mark as paid and choose the proper payment method if not he can go ahead and self-serve and make payment via any of those other payment methods we've chosen and pay for the invoice on his own